This video is titled, Yin Fu Ba Gua and the Single Cylinder View of the Human Body. Ba Gua is a style of hand-to-hand -hand combat developed in China. Yin Fu Ba Gua is a school of Ba Gua that is known for the body posture shown in this picture. The most obvious characteristics of this body posture are the lowering of the body towards the ground, the sticking of the butt out to the rear, and the pulling of the chest upwards and backwards. The single cylinder view of the human body is one of the theoretical models of the human body developed for happy theory. According to the single cylinder view of the human body, the human body can be treated as a large cylinder centered on the human body as shown in this picture. The cylinder encloses the human body from side to side and from front to back. The next part of the video will show an animation of the human body lowering itself into a posture that resembles the Yin Fu Ba Gua stance. The arms are raised up out of the way first, so there is an unobstructed view of the body. The final result of the animation process is shown in this picture. The cylinder now appears to be behind the body. The lower part of the legs, the upper part of the body, and the head are no longer completely enclosed by the cylinder. The cylinder almost looks like it is a chair that the body is sitting back into. This picture emphasizes how the largest part of the body that the cylinder now encloses is the lower part of the back and the pelvic area. Next, the cylinder will be moved to emphasize the area of the lower back that is enclosed within the cylinder. First the cylinder will be rotated approximately around the center of the lower back and pelvic area enclosed by the cylinder. In the next picture a line has been drawn down the center of the cylinder in its new orientation. The cylinder then slides down along this center line until the top of the cylinder lies just above the surface of the body. Both objects are then rotated so that the back of the human body can be seen. The top of the cylinder looks like it fits into a spot that was designed for it. The upper part of the cylinder approximately follows the natural curve of the lower part of the rib cage. The lower part of the cylinder approximately fits into the natural depression between the upper part of the buttocks. Is it a coincidence that when the human body is moved into the Yin Fu Ba Gua stance, the cylinder approximately fits into the natural cylindrical space located between the lower part of the rib cage and the upper part of the buttocks. The position of the cylinder will be changed again to provide additional information that might help answer that question. This picture shows the profile view of the human body in the Yin Fu Ba Gua stance and the cylinder moved and rotated from its proper location. This animation shows the human body raising back up into a natural standing posture. The two objects are then rotated so that the front of the body can be seen. From this viewpoint, the cylinder appears to enclose most of the stomach and pelvic area. It is almost as if the Yin Fu Ba Gua stance was invented to focus the single cylinder of the human body on the stomach and pelvic area of the human body. The next picture shows a partial skeleton of the human body with the internal organs inside of them. This picture has circles around the part of the body that is enclosed by the cylinder when a human body stands in the Yin Fu Ba Gua stance. The kidneys are located within the circled area as shown in this rear view picture. Part of the stomach is located within the circled area as is part of the liver. Most interestingly of all, a large part of the intestines are enclosed within the circled area. As you progress in your practice of Kung Fu, you will learn that the intestines are very important to the practice of Kung Fu. If a person was trying to figure out the purpose behind the Yin Fu Ba Gua stance, the previous demonstration might provide some clues. If the Yin Fu Ba Gua stance really does focus the single cylinder of the human body, on the area between the rib cage and the pelvis, and that area contains the kidneys, the liver, the stomach, and the intestines, it would be reasonable to wonder if focusing the single cylinder on those internal organs 
will change them in some way. Since Yin Fu Bagua is supposed to be healthy for the practitioner, it would be reasonable to suspect that focusing the single cylinder of the human body on the internal organs located in the area between the rib cage and the pelvis by positioning the body in the Yin Fu Bagua stance would either strengthen those internal organs or improve their health in some other way.